Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzCastNetwork.com for details. So recently we kicked off one of our biggest projects ever, Fresh Jobs. This is an online portal providing young people with access to information they need to gain and retain employment. It includes career guidance, advice from industry experts and resume templates. So today we're chatting to Anne-Marie Borches, Operations Manager at YNA. Thanks for joining us this morning, Anne-Marie. Happy to be here. Thank Um, you. So Anne-Marie, can you please tell us a bit about what YNA is all about? YNA is a national nursing agency for nurses run by nurses. The principals at YNA have been in the business for over 50 years. We look at finding the right job for the right nurse. So there's a lot of flexibility, there's a lot of diversity, and we support you during the whole process. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, So Anne-Marie, how long have you been working with YNA? With YNA for three years, but prior to that I worked with the management management for 15 years in another organisation. So I've had a bit of time in the industry and like to think that I know a lot about what's happening there. Of course. So obviously you know so much about this field. Can you tell us what are the benefits of working with the agency compared to direct health facilities? The main benefit is your flexibility. You work when you want to work. You do as much or as little as you want to do. You don't get bogged down in the politics of a particular health site if you're an employee. Do a shift, go home. If it didn't work for you, you never have to go back again. Mm. Also, staff looking for extended work, we're able to find contracts for anything up to three to six months for you. It offers all sorts of possibilities. If you're a mum with kids, you work between school hours. Yeah, the flexibility sounds excellent. It is, it is. I think too, not being tied down to shifts, you actually dictate when you can work Mm. and what you want to work. I think that's so important these Mm -hmm. days because, you know, life is so busy, especially if you're throwing a few kids in there as well. Wow, yeah, that's a great You don't work during the school holidays and then... Amazing. It offers that option or you work madly, Mm -hmm. solidly, if you've got a holiday coming up. That's definitely a huge benefit mm. for YNA in mm. comparison to, you know, the direct health facilities, as yes. you said. Yeah, so whereabouts in Australia can you travel while working for YNA? Well, we have people all over Australia. We have young people, care workers, domestics, enrolled nurses, registered nurses working in sites through the Kimberley, yep. Thursday Island. We've got RNs working on Norfolk Island. Mm. Uh, that's wow. very popular with the staff. And we get a lot of people request to go back there. The places we send people are quite extraordinary because in your day-to-day life, you may not get the opportunity to see some of these sites. Mm. We can send you an hour from home. We can send you nine hours from home. It's There's a whole range of sites that we staff throughout all of Australia. Yeah, amazing. And speaking of those sort of regional remote uh, health work health work locations that you were mentioning, how do you guys, how does YNA look after those who are going out regionally and remote? At interview and prior to accepting a contract, we talk through all the potential issues and advantages of being in that site. If people are apprehensive, We send them to sites close to home where they're more supported. But if they're adventure seekers, we'll send them to the Kimberley and some of these other sites. We have 24-7 support. So I'm on the phone. I'm available 24-7 if anybody has an issue and we can talk it through. The thing I love about my job, and I do love my job, is talking to someone who didn't know they wanted to do any rural or remote work. They're in a contract and they send me a postcard saying what a fabulous time they're having. Yeah, that's yeah. great. That is, that's it. Quite often we encourage people to go with friends. Mm. So if we have multiple contracts, they will go and have that support. But there may already be other YNA staff there. They are encouraged to be supportive of their fellow staff. So it's always, it's very rarely not a positive experience. Yeah. And people make friends for life. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Mm. It sounds like a great workplace to be involved in. It, it is. YNA, I mean, I'm very proud to be working with YNA because they're, they're so, so ethical and supportive. Our staff come first mm. above all else. Currently, their nurses are thin on the ground. Mm. And so the ones we have we really cherish and care and support because you can have clients but if you haven't got staff there's no point but if you've got staff you then have clients Mm. well so from the way you talk about there's so many positive reasons to work with YNA but can you tell us how someone would apply to work with you guys well we have a a YNA website but alternatively if they want to jump straight in you can email us at recruitment.regional at yna.com.au Amazing. And we will be back to you 
within a few hours and get you rolling. Once people are onboarded, they're directed through to me and it's smorgasbord. Where would you like to go? What would you like to do? How long would you like to go for? Have you got a mate who can go with you? We've got grey nomads travelling around in their caravans and Winnebago's going from hospital to hospital. Their partners go with them and at different times their partners have picked up work as Mm. handyman or something at the site as well. I do say to people, particularly registered nurses, if they're requested repeatedly back to regional hospitals and they're single, to be very, very aware because the hospital is looking at setting them up with a farmer. (laughs) (laughs) It has happened more than once and I've been to weddings. Farmer wants a wife. And and I've been to the christenings. Jeez. We lose a really good nurse. (laughs) Sounds like rewarding work and rewarding benefits there. Absolutely. (laughs) Well, it depends which side you're sitting on, really. (laughs) Fresh 92.7 presents Resume B, kickstarting your career with fresh jobs. Yes, we're playing Resume B. Now, this is a game where one of us has a skill, a work skill in our previous life, and we're going to get Anne-Marie here to read out the skill. Basically, we're all trying to convince you that it's our skill, but two of us would be lying rats, and you just have to pick who the rats <laughs> are and who's telling the truth. Okay. Riding a bike with no hands. All right, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll kick us off today. Okay. So, um, yeah, I used to do rowing in school, and I, when you coach rowing on the sidelines, you ride a bike alongside the boat, uh, and you got walkie-talkies to talk to the kids in the boat and stuff, so I'd ride with no hands and, uh, you know, be on the walkie-talkie. Mm. There was a few crashes from time to time, but I'm a bit of a pro now. Okay, and? Oh. Oh. Feel free to ask him any questions. You can catch him out yeah. for being a liar if you want. If you think he's fibbing, yeah. Which school? Uh, wilderness. Oh. I coached at Wilderness. Oh, well, they'd have mm. a rowing team. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so pretty much, I worked in a cycling shop. It was down at Westlakes, and it was just, uh, yeah, one of the shops there sold bikes, and a part of the thing I did when I sold a bike, I'd, uh, I'd get really happy, and I'd hop on one and just ride around and without any hands, and I'd show off a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I just I was around the bike so much, I just got so used to you know showing people how it's done, and I'd take my hands off, and I'd let the kids take pictures <laughs> and stuff, and pop a wheelie. <laughs> She's not sure, right? No. <laughs> when I, look, you might not be able to pick this, but when I was a kid, I used to do calisthenics, and calisthenics actually led me to start doing auditions in things like circuses. So what I got to do was I actually did a performance piece where I got to go on a bike with no hands, and I had to hold onto plates like I was a waitress. It was my skill and it was a fabulous, fabulous performance. I was going to ask if anybody had circus experience, so I'm thinking it's you. So you think Davo's telling the truth? You think she's the one that can. Davo's telling the truth. I'll tell you now. She was a lying rat. rat. Yeah. You lying oh, rat. I know. <laughs> Why would Sorry. you lie to Anne Marie? <laughs> yeah, you did too. It was me. I, I used to coach rowing at Wilderness School and I could uh, ride my bike with no hands. Still do, well, from time to time. There you go. Don't coach you know anymore. That's dangerous. I know, I've heard, yeah. Yes. So I've yes. stopped. Yes. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, Anne Marie, this morning from YNA. Visit yna.com.au to join their team today or call 13 10 99 for more information. You've been a pleasure. Thanks so much. Thank you. Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to oscastnetwork.com for details.